Hello Magic players, Kyle Lager speaking from France. Last week Blue White Control decks made pretty great results at Modern Grand Prix, so I picked up a list that caught my attention and I thought that today we could give it a try. So stay tuned. Are you ready to take control? Did I just break it? Alright, so we are on the play and we cannot keep this hand. And this hand is not fantastic, but at least we have lands. So, we have a very strong land disruption plan here. Uh, do I want to keep the Serum Visions? I think I do. So we have a very strong land disruption plan here with the Field of Ruin and the Spreading Seas. So let's hope we are playing against a deck which is vulnerable to land disruption, of course. Obviously, if we are up against some sort of aggro deck, and it seems like we do, this hand is not gonna do much. <laughs> and the more, the more, the, the, most ironic here is that they play blue, so even if we shut down their land, we don't achieve much. There is some irony, right? Search for Askenta and Path of Exile. I think I want both on top. And let's play Hallowed Fountain tapped. So the plan next turn is to Spreading Seas, uh, one of their land. If they, if they play some sort of third color, maybe that's spirit. Yeah, it seems like it's spirits or some sort of, uh, bent or just Azorius, uh, hate bears. Yeah, that's probably just blue white hate, ba hate bears. Uh, and. I think I want to spreading seize the ghost quarter. Because I have some a way to deal with the uh, Seacrum coasts. And I don't want them to ghost quarter me if they have some single th something like a uh, Leonin Arbiter or maybe um if I draw a colonnade. So, let's play search and path the turn. So now if they play something crazy, we can path exile and they don't. Okay, so they have a very slow start. That's good for us. That leaves us more time to draw into a wrath effect and clean the board. So still no play from our opponent. This is weird. Do I want another field of ruins? I think I don't want to. So let's put it in the graveyard and I draw a flooded strand, which is not better. And let's pass the turn. I decided to play the flooded strand because I want to fuel my graveyard uh, during their turn. I think I want to Field of Ruin their Sea from Coast or whatever land they fetch with this Flooded Strand, if they decide to fetch only for one color, or if they have indeed a third color. And I want to be able to pay for a Leonin Arbiter if they play one. Well, if they play one, I may just end up Cryptic Commending. Okay, so now F Field of Ruin, the Hallowed Fountain feels much, much less sexy. And it seems like they really need some more lands. So they must have a very, uh, quite high conversion mana cost hand. And this indicates me that they are, they probably are playing uh, some number of Restoration Angels. So Resto. 
or not resto morph. Am I supposed to counter that? I don't think I do. Weird. Is this some kind of blink, blink deck? Is this some kind of a chroma or cloud shift? Okay. Maybe I want a path. Even if I don't know what the, what this is, I think I want a path. Or maybe I'm supposed to counter because, yeah, let's counter that. So let's fetch first. Because if they have some blinker here with the vial, if they have some kind of volocil, a uh, flicker wisp, sorry, volocil is uh, the French name. If they have some kind of flicker wisp, I want to be able to answer with my path. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna counter draw. So yeah, flicker wisps. <coughs> spell queller. Sure. So I'm pathing the spell queller. So exile and path the spell queller. This way I take back my cryptic command. So if they are fighting over this cloud shift, it means that the strategy is really to blink this. And I'm starting to believe that this is a chroma. So let's counter draw. Sphinx's revelation is not bad. It refuels my hand. Uh, and do I want Celestial Colonnade on the field? One, two, three, four, five. I think I cannot afford the Colonnade right now. But do I want it in the yard? I don't think I want it in the graveyard. But I'm playing the the island instead. Because I want to be able to snap caster cryptic again. And if, this, and if they don't do anything, I think I'm just fine with uh, a revelation for three. So attack for two. What is this deck? Again, come on. And this has a flashback cost. Huh, okay, I think I'm gonna let this resolve just in case they have another land. So yeah, this is a chroma, protection from white and from blue. <clears throat> so here I'm definitely casting my Sphinx's Revelation. And I hope to draw a Wrath Effects, which I don't. Yuck. Yeah, I don't want Spreading Thieves, and I want to transform. Snap cast a Mage is not good. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I'm, I can afford to take three. Yeah, I think I can afford to take three. So let's first Serum Visions. Detention Sphere. So let's put both on top. Let's spreading seas. Okay. Let's cast detention sphere on the ether vial. Okay, and play Colonnade, and pass the turn. So now we really want a Wrath Effects. I'm fine with taking six here. And by the way, the art of this, of this card is fantastic. I really miss this kind of art. Now most of the of the new arts are just too 
too smooth, too informatic, I, 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 th I think. So Venzner, Venzer, okay. You just have to think about the new opt design. And uh, you'll see what I mean by too smooth. Okay, so ghost quarter. Oh, my Eskinta, no. And I want to search for an island. I don't think I'm casting those Snapcaster Mage yet. Because I think that end of turn, I just want to Sphinx's Revelation for a lot. So let's play this and pass the turn. Okay, so I take six here. And let's hope they don't have some counter spells. So let's snapcast a mage on Sphinx's Revelation. Okay. Cryptic Command? Seriously? Spell Quiller. Sure. Well. Okay. Um. Ha! Huh. Have I something to do with the Snapcaster now? I think I want to counter that because I don't want. Yeah, I don't want my Snapcaster to be exiled forever. Well, that ruins my plan. I still can cast Cryptic Command, but is it really worth it? Um, yeah, because next turn I can Path of Exile, have a free Snapcaster, and cast Supreme Verdict anyway. Let's fuel our graveyard just in case we need it. Let's take a planes. Okay, so no wrath effects. That's unfortunate. So let's pass the turn. So the plan here is to path the exile the spell quiller and Casts Supreme, uh, casts Sphinx's Revelation, hoping to draw into a Supreme Verdict or, or a Settle the Wreckage. So let's path before combat, just in case. Just in case we have to snap cast, uh, cast Cryptic Command and tap the team. All right, so we get to cast our Snapcaster Mage for free. So I want to cast it. Okay. And I want to cast it on my Sphinx of Revelation. Okay. So let's take six, go down to two. And cast Sphinx's Revelation. Uh, yeah, let's cast it now. Okay, so we drew a Supreme Verdict. Detention Sphere on Snapcaster Mage, sure. Colonnade. So, we get to Supreme Verdict. 
Now, cast Gideon, or do we want to attack the Venser? I think next turn we can deal with the Venser, so I'm probably casting the Gideon here. And the Colonnade. So let's plus Gideon, and we should be okay. So now, unless they, unless they have something incredibly powerful and weird, I think we're good. So yeah, okay, opponent concedes. So let's bring Supreme Verdict, let's bring Elspeth. Um, Mana Leak, is Mana Leak any good? Path, Path of Exile is okay because of the Spell Quellers. Um, Jace is bad. Detention Sphere is good because of the Venser. Spreading Seas are pretty bad. And I think that because they don't have many creatures, we're fine bringing Geist of St. Drafts. It's a little bit weird to bring Supreme Verdicts and Geist of St. Drafts. But I think I'm okay with this. Uh, let's cut one mana leak and bring two negates. I think we're fine. So yeah, that's weird bringing both uh, geists and verdicts, but obviously we're not casting the verdicts if we if we have a geist in uh, in play unless we are forced to. This hand is okay. I mean, it's not the best. So let's fetch for blue-white because we need double-whites for Gideon and we need double-blue for Cryptic Command and Serum Visions. Elspeth is good and Serum Visions is a little bit slow so I don't think I want the second Serum Visions. Because next turn I want to keep Negate up depending on what they do. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. So maybe we should have kept the Spreading Seas. So now I think I'm just fine with playing Hellfound Tapped. We could ambush Viper, the Snapcaster Mage, and start, start racing, but... In the end, they will play some creatures, so... I think it doesn't really matter. So let's play this Gideon, and I think I want a plus one because I don't know what could came out of this Ether Vial, and I'm not gonna do the emblem. Okay, so nothing. This deck is slow. Detention Sphere, okay, yeah. I guess I'll have to Detention Sphere their, their Detention Sphere, or just Blink it. Bounce it, sorry. Okay. Blood Splicer. So they do have some creatures. Okay, that's a lot of creatures. So we have another Negate, which doesn't do much. I don't think we're tapping the team this turn. Yeah, I don't think we're tapping the team this turn. So we're taking seven. Next turn, we're casting Cryptic Command. So let's play Serum Visions. So yeah, that's, that's great. Let's put everything on top. Play this. And I think that I I'd rather um, I'd rather make them tap their vial 
for a spell queller during their turn. And this way I can Supreme Verdict during my turn. So now let's Cryptic. I think I want a Cryptic Tap Bounce to force them to violin something. So let's tap and bounce the vial. All right. So I can fill of ruins and verdict. So next turn, we're not taking any damages and then we can cast our else path. Cool. Unfortunately, we had to shuffle away, away our th second Supreme Verdict, which kind of sucks. But we have the Elspeth, so I think we're fine. And it seems like they have boarded out a Chroma. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be a great turn for Elspeth. Oh no, because of Restoration Angel. Okay. So now it's another episode of Suicidal Snappy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snappy. I'm really sorry. I, I promise you I'll go on your, on your grave every, every Sunday and pray for you. <laughs> See you, Snappy Doo. <laughs> Sorry for you, Snappy. So, four, five? What that? What that? Yeah, that's Blinker. And the problem is, this thing flies. Okay, third negate is a little bit too much. So let's play Elfbeth and start making tokens. Next turn we can Eskenta. And we have three dead cards in hand. So I cannot do anything during their turn. Okay, Ghost Quarter. So this Askenta is not doing much, unfortunately. So they are attacking me. Okay, great choice. Because in the end, they will win the race. So let's plus one, Askenta, attack for three. And if they don't attack Elspeth, I'm gonna ultimate and then I'm gonna win. So at a certain point, they will have to attack us. They can't just keep beating us. Oh, drawing a second vial is rough. They flutter a little bit here. So they attack me again. Okay. So I'm still not dead. Unless they have some hasty creature. And I don't think they have. Do I want to put Wall of Omens in the graveyard? Yes, I want to put Wall of Omens in the, gra the graveyard. And I don't want to transform as Kenta. Snapcaster is good. So let's attack with the team. And I think and I think that's game here because they have to stay in defense unless they draw a creature. So attacking Elspeth, I believe. No, they are attacking me. All right. Yes, a no block.
what's happening here? So they will bounce my Elspeth. Okay. So bounce Elspeth. I cannot do anything about it. Yeah, I could have countered with uh, negate, but I think that's kind of useless. Okay. So let's play Snapcaster Mage, bounce their thingy. And next turn we attack with the team and we win. So let's bounce draw. So we could have countered the their Blink thing, but it doesn't really matter. I think I think I'd rather keep my Snapcaster Mage and my Cryptic Command for something worth it. Even if they showed us their last card, it didn't really matter because we we were to win anyway. So yeah, that's what that's that was a cool game. Fortunately, I knew about this kind of morph blinking deck. So I could, uh, I, I've, I was able to tune a little bit my plays, uh, because I knew about a chroma, but yeah, that, that was a good, good game. I think this deck can be more dangerous if you, if you get caught by surprise and you don't know about a chroma. So let's say GG's to our opponent.